I will not let you defeat me! What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and thank you for joining us for the unboxing of the real deal 100% awesome SH Figure Arts Jaren Final Battle Edition. This is him when he had chest day, arm day, all day, and so I can't wait to open this one up. And if you want to get this figure right now, you know where to go. Everyone say it with me. You know where to go. You go to www.dstartoys.com for awesome action figures this figure has been requested a lot and you want to know my thoughts on it well that's what we're here today we're here to unbox this guy so we can see paint detail articulation and scale and accessories and we're going to compare them with other action figures i have here let's do some plugs first visit my twitch.tv forward slash dstar01 we are live streaming this right now you can interact with me i game i do customs i do everything on there behind the scenes stuff so if you want to go there go for it I would love to meet you, I'd love to talk to you, and stuff like that. So, uh, and last but not least, go ahead and visit my Discord down in the description down below so we can keep the conversation going. Enough of me talking, let's go to Top Cam! That's right, we're at the Top Cam right here. Brand new Top Cam. Hopefully this Top Cam doesn't break on me because Top Cams hate me lately. I'm gonna open this guy up. We're gonna see how he is. Pain details first. Pretty psyched about this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, ooh, 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 ooh. let's look here. It's got arm day all day saying, Goku, I am not going to let you defeat me because I am super buff. And let's look at this super buff boy right here. First things first that I notice while touching his muscular body, there is serious matte finish on this thing. It feels super premium, super nice, super smooth looking like, hey, you know what? I care about my body. And that's exactly what we got here. And don't forget the awesome shading in between the musculature right here. This is something that is not seen very much, especially let's look here at UI Goku. Not so much shading in the musculature right here, but they were like, you know what, let's put some on Jiren. And they did, and look at that. That just looks absolutely cool. Let's just zoom in into that chest right there. Ooh, 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 looking very good. Love the finish on here. Also, you can see little scratch marks right here saying I've been fighting Goku for a very long time even though it's not that long of a time uh, but it looks really really cool the messed up clothes and everything look cool don't forget the little scratch here on his leg which is really nice um, now the knees are a little bit shiny not as matte finish they kind of stick out to me maybe not to you honestly you probably wouldn't even notice because you're mostly gonna focus on this super buff boy up top here Oh, well, let's not forget the gloves these are also nicely shaded look at that inside of the musculature right there looking really good the shading on this figure is phenomenal especially when compared to like the cheaper figure arts like goku and stuff like that let's look at the head as i pulled it off <laughs> uh looks like we have some veins popping out right there really nicely detailed and scratches on the face as well this is a really nice looking face Battle damage and whatnot. Final battle ready to beat up Goku. That looks fantastic. So the boots, last thing. Let's look at the boots. We also have shading right there. So that's really nice. So let's look here. Let's look at the real deal regular Jiren, right? Counter impact. Is that what his special move is that he has right now? By the way, I repaired this one with the fake. Look here at the shoulder. Remember, or not shoulder, sorry, the elbow right here. Remember, I broke this and then I did a repair video. And then I said, you know what, we have the fake, might as well try to rig it to look good. And I did. It takes some sanding, but you can get it done. So let's compare these two. Obviously, the new one, super shaded, super um, super awesome looking and stuff like that. And also the matte finish. Not so much matte finish on the old one. Pretty shiny. Uh, obviously, you can put your own matte finish, which you can get at dstartoys.com. But yeah, mostly you're looking at a really shiny figure from the original, and this one is... Definitely much different. Even the boots look a little more shaded on this one compared to the real one. So there you have it. Those are the differences right there. Let's move into articulation and scale. We're not speed running this, not at all. <laughs> Let's see how tall this buff boy is. He's looking at six and a half inches. He's a really, you know what, just because. Let's see how wide he is as well. Ooh, we're going different here. 
He is wide from shoulder to shoulder. He's almost, well, not shoulder to shoulder. We'll go from the white, from the elbow to elbow. Let's do elbow to elbow. Sure, why not? He is looking at almost five inches. Whew, big boy. Chest, let's see how chest day has been working out. We're looking at two inches there. I never do that. I never do. Maybe we should do that more often. Yeah, boys? <laughs> let's compare it with other action figures. Sure, why not? Here is UI Goku right here. Obviously, you got to put these two together because they're going to be fighting. Of course, we have the real deal Jiren right here. And for you people in the Twitch, if we hit 40 users, I give away free stuff. This is the giveaway Green Goblin from Marvel Legends. Here's my custom painted on Twitch. Easy 8. Look how cool he looks. Custom airbrushed right there. So now he looks more like the anime. Also, another thing I did on Twitch. Or not, no, actually I didn't do this on Twitch. This is a for a figure fit. We made the Call of Duty Task Force 141 M4. That looks really cool. And we put it on the SAS Soldier. So there you have it. Jeez, Jaren is huge. My goodness. Uh, let's see. So we need another big boy in here. We have Thanos, Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure, who is still pretty Hulk and huge. Let's see if we can move that up. There you have it. So he's already pretty large as well. Let's get another action figure in here. Here is Mafex Deadpool. And there you have it. Mafex Deadpool looking really tall. Last but not least, let's do one more. Sure. Here is Worthy Cap Marvel Legends. All right. Now let's move into articulation. All right. If stuff goes wrong, I have Fixer Elixir. I have oil on standby. And... I will see if we can loosen him up and stuff like that or tighten him up. But so far, he seems pretty good. Let's go in articulation up and down here at the toe. We have a really nice rotation and ankle swivel here at the ankle. We have a double jointed knee right there. We have that version two fighting body uh, legs right here at the hips. He can do a front kick. He can do a side kick really nicely. Joints are decently tight, not too tight, not too loose. Obviously, you got to have huh, huh, ab crunch right there looking really solid. Good rotation here. Not as much on the bottom rotation, but on the top rotation, it does move around a lot more. But he needs some help in that rotation. Maybe if we just loosened him up, or maybe if we move the plastic, like no duh, right? Let's remove the plastic. And still, that rotation is incredibly tight. Guys, be careful when you're dealing with this. You might want to oil that up. So let's see how his butterfly joints are. Whoa, there you go. Ooh, you can even hear the plastic moving. Butterfly joints are really good. Bicep swivel is there, uh, which was an issue at which was an issue with the first one, but the bicep swivel on this one looks really good. And ooh, really tight elbow, like almost way too tight. Okay, I have to loosen that up. Ooh, yikes! <laughs> that is really tight. Okay, so there you go. It looks like we were having a little bit of issue right here. Let's talk about that. It looks like. This part right here on the elbow is interacting with the forearm. So you see right there, that's preventing you from pushing it in. So what you got to do is you got to put your thumb in there and there you go. You have it, which is a little bit of an issue. I can see some kids playing with this and they're like, oh no, it broke because they pushed this too hard. Uh, let me put this out there right now. Just put your thumb in there, push this in, and then you can get the forearm in. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of an issue right there. Yeah, you need to put some force on, on that, but not too much. So there you have it. There is an, a ball and peg here at the wrist and two at the neck. So we can go, uh, uh, and there you have it. Let's pose this guy. Let's pose him. Uh, yeah, look at my muscles. Let's have him dab. Everyone in comments on Twitch always say, let's get him to dab. Here you go. Let's have him dab. Sure, why not? Or not really dabbing. This is him just showing off his muscles. Let's see, front kick, side kick, sure you can test. And let's see how much he can get ready for, oh geez, that is incredibly tight, come on. Uh, see how he can hug you like that, gonna hug you, and then he hugs you. But instead, you're too fast because you got UI powers, so instead he ends up hugging himself. So there you have it right there. Let's go to accessories, let's see the top cam right here. This is what we're dealing with accessories, we have 
a I'm constipated face. We have I'm pushing really hard face. And then we have another constipated face right there. We have six hands right here. And we have a ball of key right here. And let's look at the faces real quick. Let's get out of the top cam. Uh, Dylan says, can you do a superhero landing? <clears throat> and the answer to your question is yes, absolutely. In fact, he kind of does it really eh, decently well. We got to get this arm out like this. Superhero landing like that. <laughs> there you have it. There's superhero landing. Let's go over the faces. That one's going to be in YouTube, Dylan. <laughs> uh, let's look at the faces. Here we go. Constipated face number one. Let's see how it looks right there. Ah. And there you have it. Let's take this plastic off. Pretty sure someone on YouTube is like, why don't you just take it off? It's annoying. Well, you know what? I'm doing it right now. Chill. If you have problems with that, you should jump on my Twitch. So you can tell me in chat. I look there every once in a while. So there you have it. There is his angry face. This is when Goku punches him in the stomach. Or something like that. That looks really cool. This one is when he's like, I am not going to be defeated by you. Well, that's nice. Looks really cool. And last face. Constipated face number two. There you go. And there you go. Let's make him squat. There you go. <laughs> oh, you guys. You guys. Come on. I know. I started it. I started it. Uh, let's look at this key ball right here. Nothing too special. Nothing like, I believe, counter impact here, which looks really cool and goes on the fist. This one he just holds with his hand like this. Doesn't look like, okay, so it is, um, there is indentations right there for the hand so you can hold it. And there you have it. Let's get that on him right now and then we will come up with a conclusion. Obviously we'll look, do the usual when it comes to the other hands. We will put them in the showcase on YouTube. And there you have it. He holds it really nicely too. There. Okay, let's come up with the conclusion of the final battle Jiren. I like to call him full power Jiren. Uh, let's come up with the negatives first. That forearm joint is a little bit annoying just because there is a gap right here on the forearm. And when it interacts with the elbow joint, it could interfere. Not so much on this one, but I noticed on this arm, I had that issue. So everyone who buys this, be very careful when playing with this figure at first. Have some hot water, some silicone oil ready to go just in case this guy is way too tight for you. Never, never, never force your figure to do something because you will break it and then you will be emailing me at 2 a.m. saying, Dexter, I know you repair toys. Can you repair my toy? And I will gladly repair it for you. But you heard it here first. Be careful with your toys. Work them in nicely. Have some hot water, some oil ready so this guy can loosen up. That is the only negative I see. Positives. Wow, so many positives. Okay, lots of positives. The shading, excellent. The sculpt, fantastic. The faces, all great. There's nothing really wrong with this one, I have to say. the uh, Since you don't have to remove the arms, you're never going to have the issue of the arms breaking, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, that's it. I have to say it's worth it. It's going for $59.99 on dstartoys.com. Your reliable source for awesome action figures. You can get them there. And don't forget, I have a discount code for the first time orders. Use dstar10 for 10% off your first order. And also, don't forget to join my mailing list, which is also on dstartoys.com. Anyway, that is my take on this figure. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when we post videos, and last but not least, visit my Twitch, come on, join us. We're having a lot of fun here. We're playing video games, we're doing customs, we're doing reviews, you can interact with me. What's not to love? But if you don't wanna do that, you can always visit my Discord down in the description down below as well. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.
watch, rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.